As the great Buddha once said, as a solid rock is not shaken by the wind, the wise are not shaken by praise or blame. Have you ever considered how this profound teaching can guide us in dealing with challenging individuals in our modern lives? Today, we'll explore the teachings of Buddhism to skillfully navigate relationships with seven types of people who may test our inner peace. 1. The Gossip Monger This type of person thrives on spreading rumors and indulging in negative talk. Akin to a river polluted with toxicity, their conversations often revolve around others, not to uplift but to demean and create drama. This behavior can be harmful, not just to those being spoken about, but also to those who listen, potentially creating an environment of mistrust and negativity. In dealing with a gossip monger, it's essential to remember the wisdom imparted by the Buddha. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. This means we should strive to avoid participating in harmful speech, listening to malicious talk, or observing situations that promote negativity. When you encounter someone engaging in gossip, the best course of action is to not feed into the conversation. Instead, you might offer a gentle redirection. For example, if the gossip monger is discussing someone else's personal life, you could interject with a comment like, it sounds like you're upset. Perhaps we can talk about something else. This approach acknowledges their emotions without engaging in the negative discussion. If redirection does not work or if the situation feels too uncomfortable, it is perfectly acceptable to excuse yourself from the conversation politely. You might say something like, I'm not comfortable discussing this topic. Let's focus on something more positive or simply find a reason to leave the conversation. This approach allows you to maintain your own integrity and mental peace without contributing to the spread of negativity. Remember, the goal is not to change the gossip monger's behavior that may be beyond your control, but to protect your own mental and emotional well-being by not participating in harmful speech. By doing this, you set a positive example and maintain a peaceful state of mind. 2. The Anger Monger the anger monger is a type of person who seems to feed off creating and perpetuating drama and conflict. Their approach to interaction is often marked by a tendency to generate negativity and spark arguments, much like throwing fuel on a fire of discord. This can manifest in various ways, from harsh words and criticism to intentionally provocative behavior. It's crucial to recognize that getting entangled in their turmoil can be emotionally draining and detrimental to your own peace of mind. To effectively deal with an anger monger, it's advisable not to get drawn into their fiery dance. Instead, practice metta meditation, also known as loving kindness meditation. This form of meditation helps you cultivate a sense of compassion, not just for yourself but for others, including those who might be causing stress or discomfort in your life. By focusing on positive, compassionate thoughts, you can create an emotional buffer that helps you maintain your calm and composure in the face of provocation. Remember the profound teaching of the Buddha, which highlights the futility and self-destructive nature of holding on to anger. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. This saying underscores the fact that anger harms the one who harbors it more than anyone else. Anger is an internal toxin that can cloud judgment, disrupt peace, and lead to regrettable actions or words. When dealing with an anger monger, it's beneficial to maintain a sense of emotional distance. This doesn't mean you should be cold or uncaring but rather mindfully aware of the situation and your reaction to it. This awareness, coupled with the practice of loving-kindness, allows you to navigate these interactions without losing your sense of inner peace or getting caught in a cycle of negativity and reaction. It's about understanding that you have control over your responses and emotions and choosing the path of compassion and calm, which is ultimately more rewarding and peaceful. 3. The Know-It-All the know-it-all is a type of person who often appears overly confident in their beliefs and opinions, to the point where they dismiss or devalue the perspectives of others. Their conversations are frequently one-sided, with a strong focus on affirming their own viewpoints rather than exploring or understanding alternative ideas. 
This behavior can stem from a deep need for validation and acknowledgement rather than a genuine interest in the exchange of knowledge or mutual learning. When dealing with a know-it-all, it's important to remember that engaging in an argument or debate with them often proves unproductive. They are likely to persist in their stance regardless of the evidence or reasoning you present. To maintain your peace and conserve your energy, a non-confrontational approach is advisable. A simple, polite acknowledgement, such as, thank you for sharing your thoughts, allows you to acknowledge their opinion without agreeing or engaging further. This response can gently close the conversation or steer it in a different direction without escalating into a potentially stressful argument. The wisdom of the Vanapada, an ancient collection of Buddhist sayings, offers guidance here, emphasizing the value of thoughtful silence over speaking in ways that do not promote peace or understanding. This teaching suggests that sometimes the most powerful response is to refrain from contributing to a dialogue that is unlikely to be constructive or harmonious. By choosing not to engage in futile debates with a know-it-all, you protect your mental and emotional well-being. This approach aligns with the Buddhist principle of right speech, which encourages speaking truthfully, helpfully, and harmoniously, and refraining from speech that harms oneself or others. 4. The Manipulator This type of individual can be particularly challenging to identify and handle, as their words and actions often resemble kindness or concern, but are, in reality, sugar-coated bullets. Their main aim is to subtly control or influence you for their gain, which can be detrimental to your mental and emotional well-being. These manipulators are adept at crafting conversations and situations to their advantage, often leaving you feeling confused or guilty for asserting your own needs or opinions. To effectively deal with manipulators, it's crucial to develop a keen sense of awareness about their tactics. They may use flattery, guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or feigned vulnerability to sway you into doing their bidding. Recognizing these strategies is the first step in protecting yourself. Once you're aware, it becomes easier to practice assertive communication. This involves speaking your truth clearly and confidently without being aggressive or confrontational. It's about expressing your feelings, needs, and boundaries in a straightforward manner, leaving no room for misunderstanding or manipulation. Asserting your boundaries is particularly important. Boundaries are your personal guidelines that define how you want to be treated and what you're willing to accept. Clearly stating your limits and, more importantly, sticking to them sends a message to the manipulator that their tactics won't work on you. This might include saying no without feeling the need to provide a lengthy explanation or justification. Remember, you have the right to your thoughts, feelings, and choices. Buddhist teachings can provide a helpful perspective in dealing with manipulators, as the Buddha advised. Guard your thoughts well for out of them flow the actions that shape your life. This wisdom underscores the importance of being mindful of your thoughts and emotions, especially when interacting with manipulative individuals. By monitoring your internal reactions and thoughts, you can prevent yourself from being swayed by emotional manipulation and maintain your sense of inner peace and autonomy. Dealing with a manipulator is about recognizing their tactics, asserting your boundaries, and maintaining mindful awareness of your thoughts and emotions. By doing so, you protect your mental and emotional well-being and preserve your personal integrity. 5. The Energy Vampire Imagine encountering someone who, after spending time with them, leaves you feeling completely exhausted and emotionally depleted. These individuals are often referred to as energy vampires. They have a unique ability to drain your positive energy and replace it with negativity. One important thing to note is that energy vampires usually lack self-awareness. They might not even realize the impact they have on others. To protect yourself from these draining interactions, it's crucial to establish boundaries. Setting boundaries means clearly defining what you're willing to tolerate and what you're not. It's like drawing a line in the sand to safeguard your emotional well-being. Additionally, you can focus on self-care practices to recharge and maintain your inner balance. Meditation is one such powerful tool. When you meditate, you create a peaceful space within yourself where negativity from others has a harder time affecting you. 
It's like putting on an energy shield that helps you remain centered and calm. In Buddhism, there's a profound teaching. You are responsible for your own happiness. This means that ultimately, it's up to you to take care of your well-being and ensure your own happiness. By limiting contact with energy vampires, setting boundaries, and embracing self-care practices like meditation, you're actively taking charge of your happiness and protecting your positive energy from being drained by others. This way, you can continue your journey towards inner peace and spiritual growth without being hindered by negative influences. 6. The Envious One The envious one is a person whose happiness seems to rely on the unhappiness or misfortune of others. It can be quite disheartening to witness their negativity as they may take joy in the difficulties or failures of those around them. However, in line with Buddhist teachings, it's essential to respond to this situation with wisdom and compassion. Instead of harboring resentment or negativity towards the envious individual, Buddhism encourages us to cultivate compassion for their suffering. Understand that their envy is a result of their own inner turmoil and unhappiness. By doing so, we not only maintain our own inner peace, but also contribute to the betterment of the world by spreading empathy and understanding. Additionally, the practice of mudita comes into play here. Mudita is a beautiful concept that encourages us to experience joyful appreciation for our blessings and the happiness of others. In the context of dealing with the envious person, this means recognizing and appreciating the positive aspects of our lives and the success of others. It's a way to counteract the negativity and jealousy that may emanate from them. A core teaching of Buddhism, as encapsulated in the quote, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal law, reminds us that responding to negativity with more negativity doesn't lead to resolution or peace. Instead, responding with love, understanding, and compassion can help break the cycle of envy and hatred promoting harmony and well-being for both ourselves and those around us. When faced with the envious one, remember that their envy is a reflection of their inner struggles. Cultivating compassion, practicing mubita, and responding with love align with Buddhist principles and can help you maintain your inner peace while also potentially influencing positive change in their life. 7. The Ungrateful One Picture a scenario where you go out of your way to help someone, repeatedly extending your kindness and support. However, it never seems to be enough for them. They may not express gratitude for your efforts, and their negative attitude can cast a shadow over those around them. Dealing with such individuals can be challenging, but Buddhist wisdom offers valuable insights on how to navigate this situation. In Buddhism, there's a profound teaching that centers on the idea that genuine happiness originates from within ourselves. It suggests that seeking validation or approval from those who may not acknowledge or appreciate our acts of kindness can lead to disappointment and frustration. Instead, Buddhism encourages us to focus on nurturing our inner sense of contentment and joy. When faced with someone ungrateful or unappreciative of our efforts, it advises us not to attach our emotional well-being to their reactions. This means we shouldn't expect them to express gratitude or validate our actions. Instead, we should approach giving with an open heart, free from the need for external recognition. The Vanapada, a revered Buddhist scripture offers profound guidance on this matter. It contains the teaching, give even if you have little, for it is better to give a little than not at all. This timeless wisdom emphasizes the intrinsic value of acts of kindness, irrespective of their scale or the appreciation they receive. It underscores that our actions should stem from a place of genuine compassion with no strings attached. When dealing with ungrateful individuals, we can draw strength from these Buddhist teachings. They remind us to remain grounded in our own values and principles by continuing to offer kindness and support with a pure heart, regardless of the responses we receive. We not only contribute positively to the world, but also cultivate inner peace and happiness that are independent of external validation. So, when confronted with the challenges of dealing with the ungrateful, remember that your actions hold inherent worth and your happiness doesn't hinge on their reactions. 
Instead, focus on nurturing your inner well-being and continue to spread kindness with an open heart. By embracing these principles and applying them when dealing with difficult relationships, we can handle them effectively without sacrificing our inner peace and spiritual development. It's important to keep in mind that our life's journey is a constant process of learning and self-improvement. Therefore, let's make an effort to incorporate wisdom and kindness into our interactions while also establishing healthy boundaries. This way, we can walk a more enriching spiritual path that aligns with our personal growth and well-being.